Hello everyone. Today, we are exploring the world of a medication called rituximab, which is also known by its brand names, including rituxan. As always, our discussion is for educational purposes only. Should you have any health-related queries or concerns, please reach out to a qualified medical professional. Description Rituximab, commonly recognized by its brand name rituxan, is a monoclonal antibody used to treat various conditions. It functions by targeting specific cells, often those causing autoimmune disorders or cancers. Rituximab is mainly employed for conditions such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and certain autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis and vasculitis. By specifically targeting B-cells, it plays a crucial role in modifying the immune system's response and combating malignancies. Warnings Rituximab comes with its set of precautions. It can cause side effects that may occur many months after receiving the medicine. Furthermore, using this medicine may increase your risk of developing other types of cancers, such as skin cancer or stomach cancer. Regular skin exams and periodic checkups with your healthcare provider are advised. Before taking this medicine Before starting rituximab, several factors need to be considered. It's vital to inform your healthcare provider if you're allergic to the drug or if you've ever had hepatitis B, a virus reactivation which can occur while taking rituximab. A history of heart disease, high blood pressure, or a previous stroke should also be disclosed. Inform your doctor if you've had a recent vaccination or plan to get vaccinated. If you are pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding, consulting with your healthcare provider is crucial, as the drug can harm the unborn baby or pass into breast milk. Side effects Like all medications, rituximab can have side effects. Some of the side effects can be serious, like irregular heart rhythms, lung problems, kidney problems, or severe skin reactions. It can also lead to infections as it affects the immune system. Side effects can occur during the infusion or even up to 24 hours after receiving rituximab. Symptoms during or after the infusion can include fever, chills, chest pain, irregular heartbeats, and severe stomach pain. Always be vigilant and inform your healthcare provider of any unusual or severe symptoms. Interactions Rituximab might interact with other medications or vaccines. Ensure you inform your doctor about all medications, over-the-counter products, vaccines, herbs, or supplements you're currently taking to prevent any potential adverse interactions. Dosage Correct dosage is fundamental to the efficacy and safety of any medication. The recommended dosage of rituximab varies depending on the condition being treated. It is typically administered as an infusion into a vein by a healthcare professional in a hospital or clinic setting. The dosing regimen and frequency will be determined by your doctor based on your medical condition, response to therapy, and other treatments you may be receiving. Always follow your doctor's recommendations and never alter your dosage without consultation. Avoid While receiving rituximab, it's advised to keep up to date with all other regular checkups and screenings as suggested by your healthcare provider. Due to potential interactions, it's recommended to avoid receiving live vaccines during treatment and to discuss any vaccination plans with your doctor. FAQ A common query about rituximab revolves around its safety for pregnant or breastfeeding individuals. Rituximab may cause harm to an unborn baby and is not recommended during pregnancy. It is unknown if rituximab passes into breast milk, so it's advisable to discuss risks and benefits with a healthcare provider if you plan to breastfeed. Closing That concludes our overview of rituximab. As emphasized before, this discussion is intended for educational insights and does not replace medical advice. Always consult a healthcare professional for any medication-related queries or concerns. Thank you for joining us today.